Hello, fellow Burgonauts. Welcome to another Burgundy with Tweedy. More Bourgogne Haute Cote de Nuit today. This is a producer called David Duband. Dubond. It is a 2020 vintage. There is what I assume to be, is that maybe a cuvee name or is it a vineyard name? Louis Auguste. It sounds more like a name for this particular blend, this wine rather than, could be a vineyard name, I don't know. This is a wine from a merchant called Lathwaite's. Some of you may be familiar with. They're quite a big wine merchant. And I don't think I'd actually bought anything from them until now. They're a merchant that has many fronts. And I think things like the sort of Sunday Times Wine Club, is it? And a bunch of these other sort of subscription type wine merchants. Actually, Lathwaite's are doing the, the legwork behind the scenes of actually sourcing the wines and selling them on, I think. As always, I think Bourgogne Haute Cote de Nuit potentially offers great value. I think this was under 30 quid. I'll put the exact price on screen. A reassuringly deep colour to start with. Had a run of quite pale, quite light Bourgogne Haute Cote de Nuit recently, so that's a good start. Maybe something slightly woody there. There's definitely some fruit in amongst that. I think I'm getting a tiny bit of that struck match note that I'm never really a fan of. One of those volatile sulfur compounds, is it VSCs? I forget the word for it now. Something sort of, yeah, to toasted, sort of slightly charred almost wood there. And maybe grilled fruit? Quite a nice concentration on the palette. Again, the colour is giving a good hint there that this is going to be relatively intense, which is good. Dark berry fruits. Maybe there's a little bit of black cherry, but there is this, it's underpinned by this slightly sort of woody, slightly sort of charred character. Something smoky, woody, again, struck matches. And then there's definitely a bit of tannic friction on the palette. Definitely some fruit presence, but it has a few I don't want to say rough edges in a purely negative way, but slightly abrasive edges. This is my view in case anyone's interested. Not that it matters. I think what's probably key to understanding this wine, it's made with whole bunch fermentation. So the stems or those woody bits attached to the grapes go in there with the grapes. And I think that lends it some of this woody character, some of uh, that fairly tannic character. There's also quite a good hit of, I suppose, licorice and, and spice. Those two things often seem to go hand in hand in Burgundy. So it's quite full on actually, which, which is interesting because given the altitude, Bourgogne Haute, Cote de Nuit wines tend to more often than not veer towards the sort of light and delicate stylistically. Or a lot of them that I've had have been about very sort of clean, pure fruit expression, a bit of an extension of Nuit Saint-Georges, particularly the Gavignier Bourgogne Haute Cote de Nuit. So I think it's kind of impressive what David Duband has done here to get this really sort of forthright, bold, gutsy wine out of a region of Burgundy, a sub-region of Burgundy that is a bit cooler and, you know, it's breezier and all the rest. I wouldn't say it's exactly my favourite style of Burgundy. It feels like there's a little bit too much of that woody, licorice spicy stuff for me to enjoy. That might settle down with age. Maybe this might be more interesting in a year or two. I would definitely say nothing that I don't like about this seems to stem from the fact that it's 2020. I think the, the actual ripeness of the fruit here is at a good level. There's, there's some quite nice, intense fruitiness here. It's just, it's served with this side order of licorice and tannin and woodiness and slight smokiness that are perhaps not my usual favorite things. But as a one-off, that's really quite interesting. Probably better as a food wine, probably better with some sort of gutsy, hearty meal. Perhaps the sort of thing that would go well with a steak, I imagine. And uh, under 30 quid for, um, you know, I think a, an interesting gutsy burgundy that in my opinion is by some definition ready to drink now. Pretty good, widely available at all those different franchises, for want of a better word, all the different outlets that Lathwaite sell on through. Certainly not terrible, will do me. Cheers.